asymmetric versus symmetric, and I put these the wrong direction, but um, symmetric um, always has one key um, and asymmetric has two keys. And um, that sounds boring. Um, and it sort, sort of is unless you're a crypto geek, but it enables like a world of possibilities in computing, um, this revolution that was enabled by um, crypt, cr cryptography. Um, it's not just about passing around secret codes. It's, it's what um, enables us to make sure that the content we're receiving is the content we're supposed to be receiving. It corrects for errors. It authenticates people. Um, so that we know the person that's talking to us is the person we expect them to be. It's what keeps um, code safe. You know, when we download patches from Microsoft, it's it's how we know it's really a Microsoft patch, right? Um, so there's a lot of uses for cri cryptography. And then, of course, there's the cryptocurrencies, right? Um, and none of those are really about um, keeping data secret, although that's also an in, in important use. But um, believe it or not, there was a moment in the 90s where uh, it was not clear if this tool, cryptography, was going to be allowed in, in, in the public domain. It was something that governments around the world were actively trying to ban. Um, and they lost, thank, thanks to the app and some other people that worked really hard to, to make sure it, um, it stayed free. But I'm going to jump in here. So asymmetric, um, sometimes referred to as um, shared key, uh, again, I have this backwards, <laughs> sorry, asymmetric, sometimes referred to as public key encryption and symmetric, um, sometimes referred to as shared key or secret key encryption. Um, I'm sure that this, this, this one's correct though. Um, symmetric key encryption. So one key, you take, uh, some plain text or some unencrypted data, you use the key and a cipher, which is sort of like the lock that the key goes in, um, and you encrypt the, the data, the document, the whatever, um, and then uh, it's totally unreadable by anyone that doesn't have the key. Keep the key safe. The data doesn't have to be as safe. Um, when you want to look at the data, um, you then use that key, you decrypt the data, and then you get the same information back again on the end. Um, that's what most people think of when they think of is cry cryptography. That's that's, um, I think this is common knowledge. <clears throat> now, symmetric encryption has um, basically just one use, keeping data secret, confidentiality. Um, and um, the strength of symmetric encryption is that if you have a strong cipher, which is the algorithm you use um, that key on to scramble the data, if that scrambling algorithm is strong and your key is also strong, and it remains secret, the encrypted data is unreadable and it's legally unreadable. In fact, um, if you lose encrypted data, that is like you leave it on a bus, right? It's downloaded by hackers. If they do not have access to your keys,